Hey guys, Steve here at SKS Props. Today we have part two of our Beetle build. Welcome to the shop. This is part two of my Beetle build. This guy is made all out of HD foam and foam clay. Part one is over on Blick's YouTube channel. Of course, I have a link for that down in the description section. Part two is gonna revolve around painting this guy. And to do that, I'm gonna be using the brand new FX line from Plaid. I've got a ton of different colors to choose from, so let's go ahead and get started. For those that haven't seen part one yet, let's talk about the construction of this beetle. The bulk of the body is made up of sheets of 10 millimeter HD foam that were glued together. That was then covered with foam clay and left to dry. A day later, after it had primarily cured and skinned over, I then went back with rotary tools and pin files to give this beetle all the details that it has now. Now, like I said in the beginning, we're gonna be painting this guy using the brand new line of FX paints from Plan. We're gonna be using a carbon and beta blue as the base colors. Because this line of FX paint does not need a primer, I'm gonna go ahead and mix the blue in with the black and paint that directly to the foam clay surface. I apply the paint using a filbert brush and I add no water to this. The paint itself is pretty thin so it goes on really well and it doesn't look like it's gonna cover up any of my details. I'm making sure to cover the entire surface with this paint because this is going to be my paint and primer step all in one. What's also nice is the foam clay is cured for about a day after the final details were added, so this paint is sticking to it really well. Next up from the FX line, I'm gonna be using navy blue. Now this is mixed with the black and the blue that I had previously used, that way we can have a cohesive color scheme. Here you can see after a single coat that the black still somewhat shows through. This paint is not an opaque, which is gonna work great for the metallic glazing later on. At this point, it's just about building up layers because again, this is our paint and primer all in one stage. After the initial coat was allowed to dry, you can see that the foam clay underneath is still somewhat soft. It'll take about a full month for it to fully harden. I want the armor of this beetle to look as though it has a color shift, so the next two colors we're going with are Eris and Emerald. The thing to note here is that these are from the armor metallic line of the FX paints. I mix those two colors together along with the navy that I was previously using and paint that directly onto the shell. You can tell almost immediately that the paint does take on a reflective property. By using just a little bit of the purple on the brush by itself, this is where I'm going to start my color shift at the back of the shell. A little bit is put at the end of the shell and then feathered up, leaving less and less pigment with every stroke. The Emerald FX paint is then painted onto the top of the shell in the same manner. You can tell with both colors how they gently change the hue of the paint that's underneath. Moving on to the underside of the beetle, I go back to my blue metallic mixture. The Eris and Emerald paints are also used here to detail the underside of the abdomen. So far I'm really happy with how these colors are coming out, replicating this beetle shell. Mint beetles predominantly have a blue shell, so I'm going to paint saber blue on top of all the colors that I'd previously applied.
After that layer had dried, I went back with some of the emerald, but just along the outsides of the shell. This is what's gonna give it that color shift look. Again, going with the fact that these paints are not opaque, this translucency really helps in selling this metallic sheen. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with how these color combos turned out in the end. So you guys can see the steps that it takes to not only fabricate your own little beetle, but to paint him using the FX line from Plaid. Now hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos, and if you are, be sure to give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family. And remember, if you guys are building any of my builds or using HD foam, be sure to tag me on Twitter and Instagram, at SKS Props, because I love seeing your progress. And until next time, thanks for stopping by.